You know, when we think of uh, compassion and altruistic love, it has many dimensions. Many religions say we, sh we need first to love ourselves. Well, not to the extent of becoming narcissistic, of course, and being infatuated with oneself. For me, or for Buddhism, uh, loving oneself is to recognize that deep within I would not suffer and I would rather find a way to flourish in life. Therefore, I should do only things that will nurture this kind of fulfillment. So that's the best way to be good with yourself and there's nothing wrong with that. So no self-hate, no self-deprecation, there's no point. Now if you discover deep within that yes I don't want to suffer, I don't wake up in the morning thinking may I suffer the whole day and if possible my whole life, we do want to find happiness, then I can easily extend that to others. So first my families which are very dear to me and then to other sentient beings. So family is usually those the object of our love and kindness and, and tenderness and compassion that are the closest to us. But it's not at the exclusion of others. It's like the sun. The sun shines on everyone, but because of circumstances of life, there are people who are closer to your sun. That means they get more warm, they get more light. But it's not an exclusion, it's simply they are closer to you. So you feel more responsible, your love is closer, but then you're also ready to shine on every other one. So they are special beings in the field of our love and compassion.